channel i hope you're doing well if you're new here my name is simbi i'm a fashion blogger and i run a blog called simbifabgirl.com all right I'm so, so glad you found my video so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you different fashion hacks that i hope is going to be elevating upgrading your looks i'm so excited about this video i think this is like the favorite type of video that i you know like to make because i feel like i'm giving you value all right for things that you you're right for things that you have in your wardrobe so i'm really excited you know to share it because these are things that i've always been doing all right some i learned al along the way so i'm you know sharing everything with you i'm really excited about this one okay so please stay tuned keep on watching let's open it immediately all right so the first act i'm going to sh share with you has to do with any type of pants any type of denim most likely most um, definitely you know denim pants any type of pants that um you had in your wardrobe and it's just you um lose a bit of weight and then it's you know a little bit bigger for you and you still lo love the um pants and you still want to wear it okay so this is how i make it work okay all you need all you need is just a shoe lace all right so this is how i get it done all right as you can see this denim pants is extremely big for me so i'm just going to find a way to make it work so i'm going to take my shoelace and put it through the um, belt hole the three belt hole that is usually at the back of the denim pants and i'm just going to tie it up okay to be as tight as i want it to be and that's all i need to do as you can see um it's you know looks much much more smarter but of, obviously i can't go out like that so when you're using this arc you're definitely going to be adding a jacket or a blazer to make it look you know smarter okay excuse the fact that my shoelace is hanging out there as long as you get the drift right for the second hack it still you know has to do with pants and then in, just in case you do not like the first one or, or just in case you do not like the first um hack for this one what i just so what i just do is to take the button put it in the first belt hole and then fix it in the button hole if that makes sense okay so just you know just i hope you're going to be able to get what i'm talking about you know in the video all right, so like I said, you're going to take the button, put it in the closest belt hole, and then fix it in the button hole like you would always do. All right, these acts are usually for when you want to have um, an outfit that you do not want to use a belt. You know, sometimes when the belt just stops the vibe of your outfit. So that's all you need to do. It takes in like two to three inches in and you're fine. Yeah. See, these are like life-changing acts, things that... So many of us just have our pants in the, in the closet in that no oh, this is too big or oh, this is too small or oh, this is too big i can't really wear them blah, blah, blah. so this with this you can always wear All right so moving on this next tip still has to do with the denim pant or any type of pant that you have but this time is when it's too small okay if it's too small this is the hack what i usually do is to get a hairband all right i'm going to show it to you in the video and once you do that you have extra space okay i use this app a whole lot okay when i was pregnant because i didn't want to just pop on buying maternity you know um clothes immediately so i used this app and it worked like seriously i used it a whole lot and it worked and you know it gives me extra extra breathing space and i think that if you have any denim in your closet that is so tight and you feel like you want to wear an oversized blouse on it or something this hack is a hack for you okay all right so as you can see this denim pants is um so tight for me i, I find it difficult to even zip it up not to talk of um fixing the button so i'm just going to take the airband put it around the button put it in the button hole then pull it out and fix it back in the on the button around the button okay so that's all then you have the space the band will okay make it expand even if you have a bigger belly so that's all with this hack and so cool okay let's leave all the denim on one side all the pants on one side this time around it has to do with tops any long top any long sweater any long jumper anything that you think is long and you just want to make it crop okay i'm doing that right now i don't know if you can see 
I'm doing that right now. I'm going to show you how I, you know, utilize a jumper or a crop top or a sweater. Sorry, a sweater and make them into a crop top easily. Okay, I just do that and it changes my look and I'm able to, you know, rock the, the, the jumper in different ways. Apart from when it's, you know, long, I can also use this hack to elevate my look and make it look different. See? See? Okay? Alright, so let me show you how I do it. Alright, so for this hack, all you need to do is to take the hem of your jumper or your sweater and put it, fix it into your bra. And because of the um, jumper is um, a bit oversized, so for the back, I twist it a bit and then put it inside my bra also and then it you know gives another vibe makes it look like i'm wearing a jumper like um a crop um top okay so that's all you need to do and yeah looks good isn't it and for this version i'm showing you what i did for my outfit of the day today as you can see um the jumper i'm wearing today is not that oversized so it made it even much more smarter so it looks as if i'm wearing a crop you know jumper and um looks good i really love um the hack and as you can see it's uh, much more smarter and no stress changed my look a little bit hmm, moving on quickly still has to do with cropping and you know that this first the previous hack i showed you about how to crop your 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 jumper had, it can, that particular I can only work if you're um, wearing a pant or something. But what happens to when you want to style your dress with a jumper and you want it cropped? So this hack is going to show you how I do that. Okay, I did this a whole lot while I was pregnant also because it just makes room for that big belly and all that. So it really works and it just makes you don't have to be pregnant actually. Okay, but this that was when I used it a whole lot. But if you have a dress. Especially if you have summer dresses and you think oh, I still want to rock it for me if, Like I always say if I buy anything I want to wear it all year round summer winter whichever weather, okay, because Nobody's ready to waste any money. Okay, so what I just do if you have those dresses those light um, textured fabric um, dresses that you you bought for summer Okay, you can restyle them using this hack and wear them in winter or whichever season whichever country you're, you're living okay this just makes you to be able to use your pieces more. You know I'm all here for that. I don't like when you don't use those things lying in your wardrobe. So I'm always trying to hook you guys up on how you can do these things. Let me not talk too much. Just see how I do it, okay? You can see this is a dress and I'm wearing um, a sweater on, on it. And it doesn't really look good as you can see. So what I want to do, what you want to do is to put a belt over the, you know, the sweater and then pull it out a bit okay to the length that you want for your crop um top okay so for your crop um jumper so that's what it's going to look like it's just you know definitely going to it looks much more better changes the look elevates the look and you know it makes me look more chic and that's what this we are looking at hack. i think i shared this in my video of um how to look instantly stylish but i'm still going to drop it here because it's a hack it's a hack Really, if you have a long sleeve shirt and you want to tuck it in, you don't want to know how long it took me to figure this thing out. For so many years, when I tuck in, because I'm always, you know, wearing oversized shirt. I love it a whole lot. Okay, so for so many years, I would tuck it in, and it would just keep bulging out and all that. So I'm here hooking you up. You don't need to spend that long. You know, I I, I stayed for so many years. I didn't, you know, I was trying to figure out. I just didn't know. All I needed to do was to button it halfway and tuck it in. And it's going to lay flat. But I'm going to advise that if you're going to be doing that, do not do that even with an extremely tight denim pants, okay? Let it have a little bit of room so that it looks, you know, well laid, all right? So if you have not seen that video of how to look instantly stylish, I'm going to link it, link it below. Please can you check it out? This hack is a lifesaver, especially for those of us that like to wear oversized shirts. Who doesn't even like to wear an oversized shirt? Like, seriously? <laughs> Alright, All right, so for this hack, quickly, whichever type of shirt you're wearing, oversized or regular shirt, you don't want to button it all the way down. All you just need to do is button it halfway, okay? Tuck the left side and the left side, tuck the right side and the right side, and that's how you have your is going to lay flat. It also allows you to move freely and, you know, so comfy hey moving on this one 
may not be something that everybody would like but if you have a dress that is you know really big you want it to be extremely you know fitted on you some of us shop online or a lot and you know these designers just have problems with get, getting your perfect fit you are a size 8 but when you bought it it was still a, a little bit big you bought the size 10 it's still not your size and you just still want to rock it okay so what i just do is to take a hairband again and try to tie a knot at the back of the dress but when it comes to this there could be a little bit of you know ruffled in front but that's fine because some dresses actually come in that style with ruffles and drapes and all that so and also with this tip you need to put a blazer on it this is native for everybody but if you are someone that likes to you know go extra mile just to make things work this tip this hack you are going to love it all right so i'm just going to show you how i get this how i get this done quickly so for this hack as you can see this dress i'm wearing is not all that smart or fitted on me so i'm going to do that what i'll do is to take my hairband and try to you know take part of the dress out and um, tie it in a in, uh, with the hairband okay so can you see the front looks so so smart and you know fitted so i want to put the blazer on it okay just to cover up that and if you look closely you see that there was a little bit of ruffling in the front of the dress um yeah that's i don't mind this i really don't mind this at all if, if you do then you don't have to okay. do this next act hmm. even me it took me like i think this is the last act i have in this video i think so it took me a while to you know master this whole thing because i just learned it i learned it online also so i'm just bringing it to you guys i think i saw it either on tiktok or one of these apps okay definitely not instagram but i saw it on, i think tiktok okay and it's just a way to, another way to crop your top and make it look as if you bought it like that you know i had to practice and practice and practice before i became perfect okay so you can always do that also use this hack to top um to crop your your top it, it's just it totally changes everything elevates the look upgrades the look it makes it look I like so for this hack you want to take your hand around you know each other just we have done in the video and twist it around and then cover it up collapse that's all yeah <laughs> so as you can see a knot is formed and it looks um you know really nice i really like it all right so that's the end of my art video there are still so many much more that i'm going to be sharing in another video but for this video that's the head i do not want to keep it for too long thank you for um, for always watching my video if this is your first time on my channel please subscribe subscribe to my channel join the family make this family a big happy one support me encourage me subscribe like share your thoughts if you have any video ideas please kindly put it in the comment section i'm willing to do that for you what am i doing i'm here to you know hook you up so if you have any ideas put it down in the, in the comment section i'm going to definitely be checking it out i really appreciate you guys please kindly share your my videos my videos are still not you know where i want it to be in terms of views so i'm just taking this opportunity to tell you guys to please always share my video like my video when you like a video it allows youtube to recommend it as a good video so please do not allow your girls to be stressing on all these things without views like seriously okay all right so i really appreciate those of you that everybody that you know keeps coming back keeps putting comments you do not want to know how happy i am about that please continue to do that continue to support me i really really appreciate okay so all right so before i go please also check me out on instagram just help your girl okay check me out on instagram follow me on instagram and also be here because i share daily posts here on here i post on tuesday i upload videos on thursdays and sundays but on instagram almost every day i upload on um, videos and you can interact much more better on instagram also please check me out my handle is where i'm going to put my link to my instagram in this description box also and it's also going to be on the screen all right check your girl out support your girl all right so yes i'm begging i'm begging i'm not doing shakara okay so i'll see you in my next one guys love you stay safe bye